Welcome to Port St. Lucie. This is Professor Teferro for Lesson 3 of Bernanke Macroeconomics. And we're going to look at uh, three principles of uh, Bernanke, Bernanke's book, uh, and uh, we'll discuss them uh, in uh, simple terms. Uh, the first principle we're going to look at is uh, real interest rates versus nominal interest rates. Uh, real interest rates um, mean the purchasing power. How much purchasing power do you have? Uh, for example, uh, in 2020, we have less purchasing power than our parents did uh, 30 or 40 years ago. So um, uh, and this is due to a number of different variables, which we're not going to discuss at this time. But uh, it's the ability to buy the same things that other people bought in the past. That's pretty much what purchasing power is. So um, we have the purchasing power is the um, the interest rates, um, uh, real interest rates. Then we have nominal interest rates, and the nominal interest rates uh, adjust for inflation. The nominal interest rates uh, you pay for your uh, credit card are based on uh, current uh, inflated prices and many prices are inflated at this point in time. Um, so I want you to understand the difference between the two. Uh, real interest rates are your ability to buy something, purchasing power, and uh, nominal interest rates are inflated, uh, adjusted for inflation. Uh, let's look at uh, price levels. Uh, price levels uh, mean for specific goods. Uh, what are the uh, the prices of specific goods? Uh, relative price, which is compared to price levels, compares these goods to other goods. Um, for example, gas and food. Uh, you have a specific price for gas, um, uh, but it may be more or less uh, uh, more or less inflated than um, another group of goods like um, um, cars or electronics or something like that. So uh, what you want to do with price levels is uh, get you have your prices, specific uh, prices at price levels, but um, for the relative price, the relative price is compared to other um, goods in the market. So uh, if there's a scarcity of your goods, your relative price will be higher. If there is no scarcity of your goods, the relative price will be lower. Um, I hope that's not too difficult to understand. Uh, now, let's go on to the third principle that we want to cover tonight. And the third principle is um, the price index. The price index is basically uh, the price of goods uh, and the uh, average price of goods. The price index is the average price of goods. Um, now, the price index um, takes into account um, inflation. Um, how much does inflation uh, increase the price index? Um, the price index will be higher for goods if the inflation is high. Um, the uh, price index for the average product will be uh, affected differently depending on the scarcity of each product. So um, just keep in mind that price index is associated with inflation and an, an index is just the average price of goods. And those are the three things I'd like you to pick up for tonight. Until next time, this is Professor Teferro for uh, Bernanke Macroeconomics, uh, wishing you a happy and healthy night. Take care. Bye-bye.